Welcome into episode four of Not My Scene. My name is Taylor Nitz. This is Matt Ray. We are from K Way Radio, in case you did not know. Y99.3, it's one of the stations uh, we uh, work for. You'll see that uh, obviously in the background of all of our videos. But uh, uh, we have again uh, exchanged songs, exchanged songs for the other uh, to review. And uh, Matt, at least for me, this, uh, this week was. An emotional one uh, for it, probably you didn't have the same emotional um, reaction to the song that I gave you that I have to that song. That means a lot to me. I'll talk about that a little bit later yeah. on, but an emotional one nonetheless. Yeah, and I thought one uh, that I gave you is one you'd like and your wife would love. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a song that we're going to talk about. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it specifically. Okay, you want to well, set it up? I'll set it up. Uh, the song I gave him is "The Mother" by Brandy Carlile. Brandy Carlile is an amazing musician. I've seen her twice perform with the Waterloo Cedar Falls Symphony and she just kills it. She just has a voice, like she can just sing, can flat out sing. Her, the musicians she plays with are really good. This is a little more stripped down song. It is about motherhood itself and it is just one, and yeah, it is guys, it's probably one we don't uh, fit with as much, but it, for the ladies out there, if you are a mom, you should watch this one. If you have a mom, you might want to watch this one too. Uh, the video that goes with it, so I say watch, <laughs> listen to it. And you can just listen, songs are like that. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. Yeah, I guess I should mention, uh, as is the case with the other videos that we've done, uh, the uh, the video to the songs, I'll put in the description. So you can go watch those videos first and then watch this, or watch this and then watch those videos. But uh, yeah, The Mother by Brandy Carlisle. Uh, Matt mentioned, before I get into the song and, and sort of, the uh, effect that it had on me specifically. Um, Matt, uh, you mentioned uh, Brandy Carlisle's voice and it, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's excellent. It's excellent. Yeah. And I've mentioned in all, in the, uh, the acoustic songs that you've given me, like you've got to have that voice to fill that space. Mm -hmm. And, and Brandy Carlisle absolutely does. I wouldn't classify myself as a, as a Brandy Carlisle fan necessarily. Um, it, but she's I mean she's excellent she's she's very very good she's very very talented there's no question about that um and uh, this song uh was uh, as I've all already alluded to was very emotional for me in fact I cried and I think Matt probably knew that I was going to cry <laughs> and that's why he uh he gave it to me but uh, uh I did um and uh, this song uh, it made me immediately think uh, of my wife who uh is uh an excellent an excellent mother and made me think of uh of my daughter as well Addie who's two years old it made me think of her um and it made me think of an uh, of a life event that I've just experienced that sucks um and uh, Matt has experienced it as well and um so that was uh that was I'm sure played into it a little bit as well I, I don't think that he gave me I didn't song. mean to do yeah, that yeah he either. didn't I know he didn't mean to do that it just that's that's what that was what on my list yeah before anything so yeah yeah uh, and but it was one of those that like um, is very emotional and I don't necessarily like having those emotions but uh, it uh, was I'm you know I'm glad I'm glad that I did um, the uh, the video I've talked about this in, in at least one of the other videos that you've given me you know the, that didn't match up necessarily with the song this video does and I like that uh, a lot more it adds something to the song and they sort of uh, can play off of each other um, I uh, I like I like that uh, that version of of song and video combination uh, obviously a little bit more um, in the song itself uh, she obviously talks about um, motherhood and, and and being a mother but she also talks about something that um, is you know, it hits on the dilemma that, that women especially have as far as, you know, having children or having a career. And mm -hmm. while it's maybe not quite um, as drastic as, as it was at some at one point in, in history, that still is something that I think uh, women especially, as I mentioned, you know, have to kind of consider, unfortunately, um, and how they're going to handle those, those sorts of things. And she, she does that. And I sort of got the feeling that in the song, there's a little bit of, you know, she's happy that she's a mother, but she does kind of miss having maybe a little bit of, of, of freedom when she when she wasn't a mother to go out with her friends and things along those lines. 
Um, and, and I think uh, having that sort of human part of it where it's not just one emotion, mm -hmm. right? I think, I think that adds to why, um, why the song hits as, as well as it does or, or as much as it does. There's an honesty about it. Yeah, exactly. And I should also mention that uh, uh, it's, uh, she mentions Evangeline, who is her actual daughter in it. So I, that sort of mm -hmm. makes it feel um, more personal as well. Uh, for uh, for her and, and and made it hit a little bit uh, more because on, I mean we're both parents I guess I could I could you know uh, connect a little bit with Brandy Carlisle on that um, and uh, one other thing uh, that I wanted to, to mention sort of stepping outside of of uh, the song uh, the effect that it had on me and, and uh, I was thinking about uh, Maddie Poppy and there is no doubt about it there's a clear uh, uh, influence from Brandy Carlisle to, to yes. Maddie Poppy that, Very that, much that so. you can hear, which is cool, which is cool. Um, and I think if you're going to have uh, have somebody influence you and you're as talented as Maddie is, Brandy Carlisle is a pretty, pretty good one to pick. Yeah, she's one of those people that she's popular, but not popular enough to where like you are like, oh yeah, that, that Brandy Carlisle pop hit. Yeah. She's won Grammys. Uh, she's been part of Dave Matthews' band song that hit, but really her own stuff doesn't hit for some reason it's just weird to me but the cool kids like her yeah yeah and uh and that's right and and this song is um probably i mean to this point the my favorite that you that you've given me okay. because i've i mean i just had such a connection to it and as matt mentioned um before i mean if you if you've got a wife that uh is uh is a mother she probably doesn't even need to be a mother i think the song even if you're if you've just got a wife would be important to you or or uh, if you've got a mother um or you know a mother which is seems like almost everybody yeah, in this world pretty much <laughs> um uh, i think this is going to be a song that uh it may you know it may um hit fairly close uh, to home uh for you it's it's not a song that I uh, would necessarily like search out to listen to all the time. But if I'm feeling yeah. a certain way, if I'm in a certain mood. If you're making a slideshow like, for Mother's Day, yeah, yeah. you're using this. <laughs> if, if your goal is to make somebody cry and you need some music, if you need a, a soundtrack to that, this is probably uh, one that works. Yeah, And that seems to be your goal uh, more often than, than it's not. Make yeah. somebody cry. That's, that's right. I, I have a list of songs I do to make my, <laughs> my wife cry. Yeah, and my kids love it. They Does love it, watching uh, mom weep. <laughs> Does this song make uh, make Christine? Cry? No, it doesn't. Really, she relates to it, but it's not yeah. one of those that makes her cry. Yeah, it's 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 it may be Someone's one of those. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> it may be one of those where, um, like, uh, if uh, uh, if if you've gone through it, maybe you don't. Uh, don't find it as awesome <laughs> as like me and you do because yeah. like being a mother is something we can't do yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely if you just want to feel respect for moms listen to this one yeah it's a good yeah. one it's a good one yeah it's yeah, a good song i liked it yeah so the song that i gave you is uh the song that i listen to when i'm feeling down or 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 depressed i uh um i do want to point out that i uh, don't i've never um been you know uh What's the word I'm looking Clinically for? Clinically? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I've, I've never, a doctor's never told me that I've got depression or anything along those lines. I think we probably all have gone through a little bit of depression here or there somewhere yeah. along in our lives. But whenever I was feeling down or, or whatever, this was the song um, that I uh, that I go to. Um, it's by a band called Seosin. Uh, they are uh, a band that has, um, there's been a lot of, they're big in, in sort of the scene, kind of screamo, the early version of screamo. Uh, emo uh, uh, scene, if you will, they're big in that, and, and there's a lot of uh, conversation on how you actually say the band's name. It is Seosin. It's S A O S I N. Um, they had uh, a, a singer named Anthony Green who started uh, with the band, and then he left, and a, and a new singer came in uh, named Cove Reber, and he's the voice on uh, this song, and I think he does a good job. Although he was a couple of years ago, they kicked him out of the band because he oh. started to suck. <laughs> He got bad apparently at, at singing, and so they got Anthony Green back. So they are still around. Um, so you can go, you still go uh, check them out. They've got their original singer, Anthony Green, who is uh, who's had some success in some other bands in the scene. Um, but uh, 
a uh, song uh, called You're Not Alone. You're Not Alone is the name of the song by Seo Sin. And uh, what'd you think, Matt? I liked the drums. I love the drums, especially in the intro. The drumming is high quality throughout the, the song. So like, if, if you just want a song with great drumming, this is one of your songs. It's a lyric driven song. Mm -hmm. So unlike yours last week, yeah. the lyrics are the most important part of it. The music advances the message well, meaning that what the lyrics are accompanied by advances it. It, it. It's not like sad song behind a happy music, which sometimes you get, mm -hmm. or vice versa. Um, it, it is really, it matches really well. It's really good. Uh, the lyrics are great. They're hopeful lyrics. And he sounds as if he's speaking directly to the listener. And given the scene it comes out of, lots of people in that scene either feel that way or okay saying they feel that way. And it was really, I'd imagine that it, it probably came out of like, hey, we're seeing a lot of uh, depressed people at our shows. <laughs> and then you write this song. It's really good. It is the emo power ballad. I mean, early 2000s. I, I was thinking to myself, it sounds 06 to 08. I looked it up. It is 06. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was just that typical emo power ballad. The music video yeah, matches it well. The little oddities mm -hmm. in it. Uh, it's the a little artsy. Yeah, yeah, artsy theatrical style. But it was good. It was a good song. It was uh, much better than last week. <laughs> Probably my <laughs> second favorite song that you've given me thus far okay yeah um but yeah it, it's, it's a good song I, I enjoyed it and uh now i know how to say the uh the name yeah. Sin. i know how to say Osin. that's right <laughs> that's right yeah uh it's off of uh an album it's a self-titled album but it's got a big black beetle on it so they call it the beetle album and it's a uh, which is uh, really throwing people off what beetles talk <laughs> and uh it, it was uh, an album that was uh, pretty big for me, uh, for sure. In my in my high school days, yeah. uh, listened to listened to it a lot. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, when a girl broke up with me, I was listening to "You're Not Alone" by Seos. This is way different than other "You Are Not Alone." This is not a, a unique title, but uh, I like it. Yeah. It was a good, it was a good, good song. I appreciated it. Yeah. All right. So uh, that uh, video will be down in the uh, in the description, as I mentioned, as will uh, the video for Brandy Carlisle's "The Mother." Uh, which uh, also, to be fair, uh, not a unique uh, name for a song. Maybe the mother. Will the be mother, different. yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but uh, those will both uh, be. You uh, mother is a completely different <laughs> song. Don't listen to that. That's true. Well, you might. If you're trying to cheer someone up. <laughs> and I met. I had mentioned at the end of last video that I was debating between a couple. One was mm -hmm. uh, this song, and one was maybe a thrash metal song. I think next week I'll give you the thrash metal song. I'll give so, you so something a little more uh, fun. Oh. A or fun song. A fun song. Yeah. Wow. That's Don't exciting. do those much. No. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. That is episode four uh, of Not Your Scene. Uh, Matt, good job. Thank you. Yeah. All right. You did okay, too. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. All right. We'll see you later.